Hi class, this is Jerry Jankowski. This is a lecture that I'm doing off of a uh, compilation of slides I've done for a PowerPoint presentation. And this is going to apply to <coughs> uh, several of my classes that I'm doing that are you are doing uh, billboards at the same time. So it really doesn't matter whether you are doing a product packaging for a carton or even a uh, beverage, uh, soda or beer. Or if you're doing a billboard to let somebody know where you're at in case you are a, a gardens or maybe a animal shelter. Billboards all advertise. <clears throat> they vie for your attention and they try to get you to do something. That's the basics of advertising. Uh, calling you to do something. So, billboard advertising uses large-scale print advertising to market a company, brand, product, or service. All right? It doesn't have to be a thing you can hand, <coughs> excuse me, that you'd hold in your hand. It also can be a service. All right? Billboards are typically placed in high traffic areas. That makes sense. So they're seen by the highest number of drivers and pedestrians. All right. Billboard advertising is effective for building brand awareness. We spoke of brand a lot in this semester. Billboards are just a continuation of some of the things we've already worked with. Logos, uh, brochures, 3D packaging. Okay. Because they're in such busy areas on purpose, Billboards tend to have the highest number of views and impressions when compared to other marketing methods. All right, so <clears throat> if the product you have that you're advertising on a billboard is yours, you want that brand awareness. You want the, as many views and impressions as you can get. So even though advertising, billboard advertising is quite old, it's been around since the 1800s and, per, uh, and perhaps earlier than that, it still is effective. Now, as far as costs go, the cost of billboard advertising does depend on many factors, including location of your billboard. I, I think that's probably number one. The total traffic in the area and how many people are estimated to see your advertisement, okay? Billboard advertising costs a range of anywhere from $250 a month on a rural highway somewhere, say you're in Oklahoma or Montana, someplace where it's much more rural, and then it goes upwards to about $22,000 a month uh, in Times Square in New York City. And here we go, and then on the right here, Toys Are Back, is the type of billboard that we'll be working on. Obviously, a lot of these here are electronic now, uh, there's still some print uh, advertising, too. So, billboard design. Uh, the cost of billboard advertising doesn't just stop with, quote-unquote, renting an ad space. Clients must also consider the cost of designing the billboard. That's what we do. That's us. As well as printing and installing. So it involves other people, which is great. It gives us all work. The expense of your billboard design will vary on the agency that represents you or how much you are billing them in case you are your own uh, small advertising uh, agency like I am. So keep these three things in mind when you're designing a poster. One is tell a story. Two, be creative. Three, be bold and simple. Okay? All of these seem pretty simple in themselves, but mm, not not that easy to do all of these things. But if you do, you're, you will be very successful. So if you're going to invest in, uh, in an advertisement potentially seen by millions, you want it to do its job. In other words, you want it to be as effective as possible. In every aspect of advertising, your, the photo or illustration you have there, um, say something else that you bring in that uh, the copy that somebody is writing for you something very clever you want it all to be spot on so I have a collection of here throughout this uh, this lecture of billboard designs and tips 
that will ensure your billboard is effective and eye-catching. Again, tell a story. That's number one. Successful billboards take viewers on a journey. Even if that journey is a four-second glimpse over the steering wheel, most billboard designs tell this story with imagery and possibly some text. Again, I'll show you some examples. In fact, most drivers stop reading after a few words. So, my advice, no more than six words. On a headline, a uh, some blurb, something you want to say about your product or what's up there, all right? Limit it to six or less. Use your billboard to convey the essence of an idea or campaign rather than describing it with text. Don't get into that describing it don't describe show all right an essence of an idea that's the that's what it's about the guts of it the vibe okay so do you need text to tell a story not really i love to write and i love to come up with clever stuff so i would put text on mine probably or try to sell it to the client but not always no look at this one here you go uh, this is from, uh, obviously, from McDonald's. It's got very, very minimal uh, text on it, all right? So it's not completely no text. I think there are some others here that are, but very minimal, all right? You see part of the arch here. You're driving along on the left. Well, what the heck is that? On your right, next exit. Just missed us. It's showing you the locations of where McDonald's are. I think this is really clever, absolutely minimal, and it's humorous too. You know, it's on your left. Oh, it's on your right. Oh, you just missed it. So, uh, uh, pretty clever. This is hard to read, but this one here is a billboard for Audi. You can barely see the logo here. And talk about clever. After this was installed, this billboard. BMW put up this billboard. So imagine this one is there a few months ahead of time and it says, Your move, BMW. I can't honestly read this copy, but basically it's like a, ch a chess match. It's your move, BMW, Audi challenging uh, BMW. BMW installs this um, uh, billboard down the street. Checkmate. So it's like, Sure, BMW. Yeah, we're BMW. Checkmate. We're checkmating you, Audi. So it's pretty clever. Uh, hopefully you know um, chess, otherwise you're not going to get that. Make it memorable. Your billboard has to be creative in order to stand out and be remembered among all the hustle and bustle of a regular commute. Plus what's going on in your head about what's today going to be like and all that. All right. Your billboard needs to share a call to action in a way that's interesting and re and memorable. Remember, we talk, talked about that from the very beginning of this discussion about that call to action. That's what all ads do. What do, does the ad on the billboard, on the uh, web, whatever, what is it really wanting you to do? Whether you use humor, anger, empathy, or cleverness, you use emotional marketing tactics in your billboard design to make it memorable. All right? Is that manipulative? Of course it's manipulative. Advertising is manipulative. It always has been. All right? It's absolutely, if you don't, don't like that type of thing, don't get into advertising. Um, stay in, into graphic design. Stay into some other animation, some other areas. But we buy a lot on emotional triggers and marketing tries to find those and use them for its particular demographic okay so take a look at some examples of some eye-catching creative uh, billboards that I have here coming up here's one tailgating isn't worth it all right it's hard to see here but the logo I believe is for a uh, might be for a police agency in, in uh, and down here again I can't quite read it but basically warning you uh, don't tailgate oh you know what this might be it might be for truckers yes a truckers organization that's it that's 
it says trucks trucks here yeah so that would be for a truckers organization not to tailgate a semi because you're going to lose if they have to hit the brake right all right so what is the emotion on here what is the emotional impact this is definitely saying you're going to die if you rear end a semi so read the copy it isn't worth it don't do it okay here's something totally different uh, Maker's Mark is very well known uh, for a whiskey, high uh, quality whiskey in this country. It's got this telltale uh, red um, wax that's melted over it. It's not. I think it's actually made of plastic, but anyway, it's their mark. That is Maker's Mark. You know this, and they also has this little, this little uh, uh, wax seal here too. Well, this is a, a three dimensional ad. Uh, this. Guy up here, I don't think he's real. He's probably a statue. And this stuff coming out is obviously not real. Uh, this truck, though, which gets me, it looks like it is real. So it's like a truck has to be parked here. I'd really love to investigate what this is all about. But if you saw this, you definitely would give it a second look. And let's talk about making it bold and simple, too. Drivers or people that pass by only have a few seconds to get a glimpse at your billboard uh, advertisement design. So to reach the highest number of viewers uh, and potential customers, keep your billboard design simple. After all, some people may be blowing uh, by, your freeway, uh, by your billboard on the freeway at 70, 80 miles an hour. Use big, bold fonts against contrasting background colors. You worked, some of you worked on some packaging assignments, the PDP, principal display panel. There's not a whole lot of subtlety in that. There's some. In billboards, there's less. So definitely avoid narrow, uh, thin thought, uh, fonts or script fonts, all right? Colors, choose colors that stand out. Now, if you're going through a rural area or you're in the desert somewhere in uh, New Mexico, don't put a lot of browns on your on the background or your primary color on your billboard. You know, um, use some bright colors. If you're in a real busy ur urban area like LA, maybe white is the best color for a background to use. All right. Okay. Here's a summation of. A billboard the basics image here we go illustration photograph your product colors fonts all right here's a Nike ad what are we showing here we're showing the product it's their most important thing the Nike product whether it's shoe or sportswear or whatever uh, this is their product Logo, photo, an absolutely beautiful photo. Look at all the detail on this. Simple man, woman, kids, new. Four things. How simple can you be? Here's a fun one. I'm not, I'm not big. I'm just puffy. Okay, so it's kind of funny. Uh, shark Reef Aquarium. What's it playing off of? Uh, probably being gaining too much weight. I'm I'm not fat. I'm just puffy, something like that. Uh, anyway, it's fun. And here we go again with 3D a 3D sculpture here, right here, and of a a puffer fish. And this is very very expensive. You would imagine that this particular aquarium uh, advertisement would be up here for maybe six months to a year, and then before they would change it. Okay. To really get their money's worth out of this this uh, sculpture here, uh, for those of you doing a a uh, park uh, or an animal shelter, this is an example of, of something you could do and still keep it simple. You don't have to get into all the details. Once again, don't explain; just show. Now, as far as product design goes, um, here let's get rid of this right now. There we go. Logo, text, product. 
And once again, with food packaging, not packaging, I'm sorry, with just food product photography, food product, which is a hamburger, that's a product. So with food photography, you have to be just perfect, right on there. Look at these little drops of sweat on the tomato. Look at this uh, ketchup, just a little bit of ketchup coming out there. Mayo here. This is beautiful. If you don't like hamburgers, this is not going to do it for you. But if you do like hamburgers, this is going to make you hungry. And that's what a good food photo does. Here's another one. Okay. Logo, text, product, product, text, logo. Do you see how simple this is? Totally different companies. Do they copy each other? No, it's just this formula is so simple. Now I'm going to start with my, I'm going to do a billboard for the uh, the product that I designed, the the uh, Belvita box that I did. So I'm going to start by doing an, the average size of a billboard is typically 14 feet by 48 feet. Okay? That'll give you about 672 square feet of space for your ad. So my aim is to create comps, which are like uh, well well uh, executed sketches. They're a little bit more uh, refined than a sketch to show the client. So now I'm not going to worry about the final artwork for the printer. I'm not going to worry about doing something 14 by 48 feet long. That will be later, later after I sell my concept to the client. I'm going to be working in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to work in Photoshop, that's up to you. Uh, I really don't care at this point. Whatever works. Um, so uh, to be in proportion to the actual final billboard, which is 14 by 48 feet, I'm going to just immediately say 14 to 48 inches. Okay? So that would be exactly in proportion. But that's still too big for what I'm doing. So I'm going to have that. Half that. Okay? So I'm going to have it by two. So I'm going to do a, uh, a design on a 7 by 24 inches horizontal. All right? And I'm going to start by using, these are my designs from when I was doing my comps for my Belvita. And I ended up with the last one. But I have some things here that I like, and why throw them away? Maybe, maybe use those on my billboard. So my first thought is to use elements from my packaging design for the billboard art. That's why I'm always saying save stuff. Don't throw stuff away. The client has informed me, and obviously I'm just making this up, but... The client has informed me the billboard will be positioned on the 405 freeway by LAX airport, which is a highly urban area. You better believe it's a highly uh, urban area. But these are some clues. Those are some good ideas by LAX. Hmm. Can I make a connection with my breakfast biscuits, cookies, and flying? Or we'll see. All right, so here I, I made that, 7 by 24 inches. That represents a proportion of the actual bill, billboard. Notice how narrow it is. Uh, and now my work begins. So I'm going to start, and I will do three to four different designs. And I have I have some things already that I think I, I want to do. Um, this If this doesn't help you by putting a bunch of junk in, in there and then reorganizing, don't do it. Do sketches. Get out the pencil, old school, and some paper, and do some sketches that might help you more. Um, I, I haven't a clue what I'm going to do. I have the logo, I have the packaging, and I have this guy. I will tell you, those who are doing packaging, I do want you to make sure you have both the company logo and the, at least the front panel of your package. If it's a label for a bottle, pretty much the same thing make sure the, f the front of that label is there if you want to cut off part of the bot a bottle. For the, those of you doing <clears throat> uh, a, a place, a venue that's a place, like a ski resort or a animal shelter, make sure you have your logo on it. 
the rest probably is pretty open. But again, message, message what you need to message. What are you selling? What do you want the viewer to do? Okay? And I think that's about it. So I, I hope you all uh, are following this. I'm going to put this all in your canvas, uh, the modules. So you will have this billboard. You'll also have the, I'll have the PowerPoint in there also. And I'll make a PDF of the PowerPoint in case you don't have that. All right.